commonly used microcontrollers in IoT. IoT boards are of two types. One is microcontroller boards and another one is single computer boards. We call it SBC. These are systems on a chip that has got data processing and storage abilities. Analyzing the received sensor data and sending it to the cloud is the most important part and very essential component in any IoT application. This is done by IoT processing boards. There are various boards available in the market and some of them are Arduino Uno, Arduino Nano, Node MCU, ATtiny84, ATtiny85, Raspberry Pi, Intel UP squared board. Out of which Intel UP squared board alone can get qualified to be called as microcomputer. Rest all are microcontroller units which has got various capabilities which we are going to discuss and with which you can select which microcontroller or the microcomputer board would be suitable for you to build your application. Let us start with Arduino Uno and Nano. Arduino Uno is the most powerful as well as famous IoT board in the market. It runs on an 80 mega 328p microcontroller. Arduino Nano runs on 80 mega 328 microcontroller. You can switch between the boards depending on the requirement which is based on the size, cost, analog and digital pins. Both Arduino Uno and Nano do not have inbuilt Wi-Fi module which means that we have to add an extra module to it to get the Wi-Fi support. The normally supported module or normally preferred module is ESP8266 Wi-Fi module which has to be connected with the Arduino Uno or Nano board for you to get the Wi-Fi connectivity. Node MCU. This is one of the most preferred and affordable boards for building prototypes and proof of concepts. This is actually very inexpensive at the same time very effective. Now, if we add ESP8266 which is called Wi-Fi module to an Arduino board, it will consume more power and also take up more space. It could also cost you more. So what if a Wi-Fi module is available on board? What if a Wi-Fi module is coming default with the board which is being sold? That will be more efficient and it will be definitely easy for anybody to work with it. That's what Node MCU is all about. Node MCU is the integrated version of Wi-Fi and microcontroller modules for easy access to the internet and data transmission. IoT without internet is nothing and Node MCU gives you that with ease. Node MCU will support I2C, SPI, UART transmission modes. The main issue with or challenge with Node MCU is that the number of analog pins. It has got only one analog pin and it becomes very difficult when you have to interface multiple analog sensors. This is the challenge that we are facing right now, but we got to overcome it. And this has got multiple advantages considering the only one disadvantage that I have highlighted. Hence, this can be preferred. This is inexpensive as well as I highlighted some time back. The next board that we are going to see is 80tiny84 and 80tiny85. You want to shrink the size of your projects. You want to build it as a real prototype and real beta alpha versions. 80tiny is the best choice. They are the best microcontrollers which are built especially for the miniaturization purpose. When you use this 80tiny microcontrollers, it becomes essentially very small and it occupies very minimal space on board. An impressive feature of 80tiny is that it comes with Arduino compatible bootloader which means that you can program 80tiny with the same Arduino IDE. Since Arduino IDE is very easy for us to use and we are going to use it for building most of the embedded system based applications, you need not deviate much when you use 80tiny. You can use your same knowledge whatever you have gained by learning Arduino IDE. Depending on the requirement of the number of I.O. pins, 80tiny comes in two different versions which supports I2C, SPA, UR transmission modes as well. You can have two types of 80tiny here, 80tiny84 and 85 with SMD type, 80tiny84 and 85 through hole type. You can see the difference in the types of pins that we have here. I am highlighting it and I am moving my pointer for you to understand. This is called SMD type and this is called through hole type. 
the next one is raspberry pi this microcontroller board is often called as credit card size computer this is a microcomputer one can say as well it is one of the smallest prototyping and computing boards available in the market it is a revolution one could highlight a raspberry pi 3b plus consists of hdmi port ethernet port audio jack usb ports lcd display pins and 28 digital gpio pins for sensor interfacing this is more than sufficient for anybody to build any sort of iot applications the higher version of raspberry pi comes with inbuilt wi-fi support and bluetooth features as well this reduces the need for you to interface your raspberry pi with any additional peripherals or any additional units it works on a separate linux based operating system called as raspbian it's very important to know it is called raspbian up squared boards are the next one to be discussed up squared boards are really fast they are high performance boards which are x86 maker boards based on intel apollo lake platform it has got multiple 3.0 ports usb double gigabit ethernet port and a hdmi port all these combinations will make it a really ideal for you to use it building real time iot solutions it comes with a pre installed ubuntu 16.04 operating system it has got a much better and higher processor performance compared to raspberry pi it supports intel celeron processor the larger applications which include machine learning neural networks high level image processing application deep learning can all be done with this intel up squared board but the same cannot be done at the same perfection and accuracy with the other boards that we have discussed this is ideal but the only thing that you need to understand is this bit expensive let us understand how much exactly all these boards are costing in usd arduino uno costs you 23 dollars arduino nano costs you 14 dollars node mcu is 13 dollars 80 tiny 84 85 are costing 4 and 3 dollars respectively raspberry pi 3b plus costs you 38 dollars intel up squared board it costs around 350 dollars so based on the application that you are going to build and based on your budget you can select the best of the microcontrollers and the computing boards that are displayed in front thank you